Now, the main reason, in my opinion, why scar tissue can be problematic is because it traps small little peripheral nerves. And when those nerves get trapped, they may have poor sliding and movement capacity. And so they may be under more tension in certain positions, which then when they're under more tension, there's more ischemia or lack of blood flow, which means lack of oxygenation, which can trigger uh, inflammatory peptides like substance P, CGRP, and that can cause pain. Or the scar tissue in and of itself may constrict the nerve, which then again results in that ischemia where the nerve is not getting the blood flow and the oxygenation it needs to function properly. And then that results in having chronic pain. And so anytime we have a patient where they have had prior surgery, a evaluation of the scar tissue, both during a physical exam, but also under ultrasound evaluation is going to be crucial at helping give the patient the best odds at seeing significant improvements from their chronic pain. Now, one of the other ways that we can see the scar tissue having an impact is it can create fascial adhesion. So by definition, scar tissue is kind of like an adhesion. And so what can happen is, let's say you've got some scar tissue over the top side of your shoulder, which then restricts fascial movement in that plane. And so when you go to turn your head as an example, you may have a lot of tightness up in this region, which can then create issues with the cervical facet joints, with the ligaments in the spine, or again, it may cause issues with nerves that are a little bit further away. So if you've got scar tissue from that prior clavicle fracture and surgery that you had, and that creates fascial tension that pulls and doesn't allow movement of this fascia in through this region, well now you can have compression, adhesions, tightness around the superficial cervical plexus. And so when you go into movement, specifically, let's say you go into a little bit of extension or you go into contralateral lateral flexion or you do rotation, because you've got tethering of that scar tissue over the clavicle, and so it's like this on your shirt and it's not allowing the good movement here, you can then start to develop symptoms from the superficial cervical plexus. 